hearing from El Paso Congresswoman woman Veronica Escobar after the government removed most of the children being held at a border patrol station in Clint. Now, this comes after reports that children had inadequate food, water, and sanitation at the facility. KTSM 9 News reporter Cesar Vasquez is live near the, near the U.S.-Mexico border with what the Congresswoman has to say. Congresswoman Veronica Escobar says her office was briefed by an official with U.S. Customs and Border Protection. The U.S. government has removed most of the children. Congresswoman Escobar said some were sent to another facility in El Paso and that only 30 children were at the Clint facility as of today. Reports show major health and hygiene problems at the facility in Clint. Lawmakers who visited the facility reported seeing a lack of beds and soap for children. Escobar appeared tonight on NBC's Rachel Maddow show saying many thought children, child detainment was over after the Tornillo facility closed. I think for a lot of the country, people thought, okay, it's over. Now we just need to reunify them. Well, it's not over, and we don't believe that the system has gotten any better. And, and part of what is also really heart-wrenching about this is that mu many of the separations are absolutely needless. The Trump administration has said it's being overwhelmed by the humanitarian and security crisis at the border, and the White House is requesting $4.5 billion in emergency funding. Reporting live near the U.S.-Mexico border, Cesar Vasquez, KTSM 9 News. All right, thank you, Cesar. You tonight, one local